गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट सो वी हैव टू कंसीडरिंग दी एग्जांपल ऑफ दी पैरेलल फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर वी हैव टू कंसीडरिंग दी एग्जांपल ऑफ दी पैरेलल फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज मीन बाय पैरेलल फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ हॉट फ्लूड एंड कोल्ड फ्लूड इज सेम द डायरेक्शन ऑफ हॉट फ्लूड एंड कोल्ड फ्लूड इज सेम सो फॉर द पैरेलल फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट सो फॉर द पैरेलल फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर वी हैव टू कंसीडरिंग द टू पाइप्स दैट इज पाइप इन पाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर सो दिस इज द पाइप इन पाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर और ट्यूब इन ट्यूब हीट एक्सचेंजर और कॉन्सेंट्रिक हीट एक्सचेंजर सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर देर इज ए वन पाइप एट द सेंटर एंड अनादर पाइप एट द पेरी पेरी ऑफ द दैट सेंट्रल पाइप अनादर पाइप एट द पेरी पेरी ऑफ द सेंट्रल पाइप सो एट द सेंट्रल पाइप देर इज ए हॉट फ्लूड इन दी सेंट्रल पाइप देर इज ए हॉट फ्लूड एंड सर्कम्परशियल पाइप देर इज ए कोल्ड फ्लूड सो हॉट फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दी सेंट्रल पाइप सेंट्रल पाइप एंड कोल्ड फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दी सराउंडिंग पाइप कोल्ड फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दी सराउंडिंग पाइप एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस हॉट फ्लूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस कोल्ड फ्लूड इज सेम द डायरेक्शन ऑफ हॉट फ्लूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ कोल्ड फ्लूड इज सेम सो नाउ कंसिडर सो दिस इज दी सेंट्रल पाइप एंड इन साइड रेडियस ऑफ दिस सेंट्रल पाइप इज आर वन इन साइड रेडियस ऑफ दिस सेंट्रल पाइप इज आर वन एंड देर इज ए आउटर सर्फेस ऑफ दिस सेंट्रल पाइप एंड दैट रेडियस इज नथिंग बट आर टू सो द थिकनेस ऑफ द इन साइड पाइप और सेंट्रल पाइप इज नथिंग बट आर टू माइनस आर वन सो एट दिस इन दिस सेंट्रल पाइप देर इज ए हॉट फ्लूड एंड इन दिस सर्कम्परशियल पाइप देर इज ए कोल्ड फ्लूड देर इज ए कोल्ड फ्लूड सो फॉर दिस अरेंजमेंट नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट फॉर दिस अरेंजमेंट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशंट सो ए आय सो ए सपिक्स आय सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इनर सर्फेस एरिया सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दी इनर सर्फेस एरिया सो दिस इज दी सेंट्रल पाइप and at the central pipe inside radius is r1 so from that what is the inner surface area of that pipe that is 2 pi r1 into l so what is the equation pi into d into l means what 2 pi r1 into l that is the inner surface area of this hot fluid pipe so what is the outer surface area what is the outer surface area of this central pipe so that how to find out that outer surface area so what is the equation for that ao that is outer surface area is equal to 2 pi into r2 into l 2 pi into r2 into l now so at the central pipe there is a hot fluid and at the surrounding pipe there is a cold fluid so what are the different resistances to transfer the heat from the inside pipe to the surrounding pipe fluid so heat transfer is takes place from what there at the center there is a hot fluid and at the surrounding of this pipe there is a cold fluid so heat transfer is takes place from the hot fluid to the cold fluid so what are the different resistances in this heat transfer so first resistance that is at the center pipe there is a hot fluid so from this hot fluid to heat transfer is takes place to the inside surface of the inner tube inside surface of the inner tube so this type of oh, what type of mode of heat transfer is there so convection heat transfer is there because fluid is hot and heat transfer is takes place because of the motion of the molecules so heat transfer from the hot fluid to the inside surface that is nothing but hot fluid to the inside surface that is nothing but resistance due to the convection resistance due to the convection then heat transfer is takes place from radius r1 to radius r2 means what there is a thickness of the pipe and in the solid material which mode of heat transfer is there that is conduction so in this thickness that is r2 minus r1 in this thickness the resistance is because of the resistance due to the 
conduction resistance due to the conduction and from that outer surface of this pipe to uh, heat transfer from this outer outer surface of this pipe to the surrounding cold fluid is because of the convection so because of the convection heat transfer is takes place means what there is a resistance due to the convection resistance due to the convection so what about the total resistance so in this total resistance first one resistance due to the convection at inner surface resistance due to convection at inner surface then resistance due to the conduction resistance due to conduction because there is a thickness of that inside pipe and in that thickness there is a heat transfer is takes place because of the conduction so there is a resistance due to the conduction and third resistance because of the resistance due to the convection at outer surface resistance due to convection at outer surface so there are three resistance first one because of the convection fluid to the surface then surface to surface that is nothing but conduction and third one surface to fluid that is convection so three resistances are present so summation of r that is total resistance is nothing but summation of r is equal to resistance due to convection at inner surface plus conduction resistance plus convection resistance due to the outer surface so this is the summation of the resistances so how to find out the convection resistance so what is the formula so what is the formula related to convection that is q is equal to h into a into delta t so this equation is nothing but newton's law of the cooling so we have to compare this equation with the ohm's law so from that we get the one equation of that resistance for the convection and what is the formula for the resistance for the convection that is 1 upon h into area 1 upon h into surface area so for the convection so what is the resistance because of the convection that is 1 upon h into area so this is the inside surface so we have to give the suffix i so 1 upon h i into ai plus resistance due to the conduction resistance due to the conduction so this is the cylinder this is the cylinder so what is the resistance for the cylinder what is the equation of resistance of the cylinder that is ln of r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi kl what is the resistance of cylinder how to find out that resistance of cylinder that is resistance is equal to ln of r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi kl so this is the resistance because of the conduction in the cylinder in the cylinder plus convection resistance at outer surface so how to find out the convection resistance that is 1 upon h into a so this is related to the outer surface so how to uh, uh, notation is ho and ao so what is the equation for thermal re uh, resistance due to convection at outer surface that is 1 upon ho into ao 1 upon ho into ao so now we have to find out the heat transfer now we have to find out the heat transfer so how to find out the heat transfer so q is equal to q is equal to temperature difference divided by summation of resistance so this is the general equation that is q is equal to delta t divided by summation of resistance so here here there are heat transfer is takes place due to conduction due to convection and another convection so what is the equation for that so we have to considering the u u as a overall heat transfer coefficient so we have to write the equation for the conduction so what is the equation for the conduction u into a into delta t u into a into delta t this is the equation related to the conduction so next equation so heat transfer is takes place from the first from the fluid to the surface then surface to surface so what is the equation for that surface u into delta t then we have to write the equation for the heat transfer from fluid to the inside surface so how to write that equation that is u a delta t but for the inside surface we have to giving the notation u i into a i into delta t similarly we have to write the equation for the outer surface so what is the rate of heat transfer for the outer surface so how to find out that from the outer surface to 
cold fluid heat transfer is takes place so how to find out that rate of heat transfer that is u o into a o into delta t u o into a o into delta t so heat transfer is takes place from fluid to surface then surface to surface and then surface to fluid so this heat transfer is same so q is equal to what is the equation standard equation q is equal to delta t divided by summation r is equal to u a into delta t then is equal to u i a i in, into delta t is equal to u a o a o delta t so this quantity is same heat transfer is same because hot fluid is flowing heat towards the uh, outer surface so whatever the heat transfer takes place due to convection it is same as the heat transfer due to the conduction then it is same as the heat transfer due to the convection so these all quantities are same so now our aim is to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient to inner surface now our aim is to calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient to the inner surface so from the equation number 1 so what is your general equation delta t by summation of r is equal to what is the equation for the inner surface that is u i into a i into delta t so these quantities are same these quantities are same so now rewrite the equation so this delta t and this delta t will cancel so what is remaining u i is equal to what u i is equal to 1 upon summation of r into a i 1 upon summation of r into a i so this is the equation from this expression so u i is equal to 1 upon summation of r into a i summation of r into a i now so u i is equal to 1 upon summation of r into a so what is the value of summation of r what is the value of summation of r that is 1 upon h i a i plus ln of r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi kl plus 1 upon h o into a o into what a i so what is the value of a i a i is nothing but 2 pi r1 into l and what is the value of a o that is 2 pi r2 into l so now we have to put this value into the equation so first of all we have to multiply a i with the terms with this term so so first term multiply by a i is nothing but 1 upon h i a i a i is cancel so what is the first term 1 upon h i next we have to multiply this term by the a i so what is the value of a i that is 2 pi r1 into l divided by 2 pi k l into ln of r2 by r1 plus we have to multiply by a i into this third term that is a i divided by h o into a o so now we have to put the values of a i is nothing but 2 pi r1 into l and a o is nothing but 2 pi r2 into l so put this value into this equation so by putting this value what is the equation so u i is equal to 1 upon 1 upon h i plus so 2 pi r1 l divided by 2 pi k l so 2 pi l 2 pi l will cancel so what is remaining r1 by k into ln of r2 by r1 r1 by k into ln of r r2 by r1 plus so a i is nothing but 2 pi r1 into l a o is nothing but 2 pi r2 into l so 2 pi l 2 pi l will be cancelled so what is remaining r1 by r2 r2 into h o so what is the equation so u i overall heat transfer coefficient for inner surface is equal to what 1 upon 1 divided by 1 upon h i plus r1 by k into ln of r2 by r1 plus r1 by r2 into h o so this is the overall heat transfer coefficient for the inner surface so this is the equation of overall heat transfer coefficient for the inner surface what is that equation u i is equal to 1 upon 1 upon h i plus r1 by k ln of r2 by r1 plus r1 by r2 into h o so this is the o equation for overall heat transfer coefficient for the inner surface so this is the equation for the inner surface now we have to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient for the outer surface overall heat transfer coefficient for the outer surface so from equation 1 that is delta t divided by summation of r is equal to what u o into a o into delta t so this delta t 
टी डिवाइ डिवाइडेड बाय समेशन ऑफ आर दिस इज द जनरल इक्वेशन दैट इज ही ट्रांसफर हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दिट ही ट्रांसफर क्यू इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा टी अपॉन समेशन ऑफ आर एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द ही ट्रांसफर दैट इज व्हाट इज द अनदर इक्वेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर को इक्वेशन दैट इज यू ए इन टू डेल्टा टी सो वी हैव टू कंसिडरिंग फॉर द आउटर सर्फेस सो यू ए यू ओ इन टू ए ओ इन टू डेल्टा टी सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन डेल्टा टी एंड डेल्टा टी विल कैंसल सो वट इज रिमेनिंग यू ओ इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन समेशन ऑफ आर इन टू ए ओ सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन डेल्टा टी डेल्टा टी विल कैंसल सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ यू ओ सो यू ओ इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन समेशन ऑफ आर इन टू ए ओ समेशन ऑफ आर इन टू ए ओ सो नाउ वी हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ समेशन ऑफ आर इन टू दिस इक्वेशन सो यू ओ इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन समेशन ऑफ आर इन टू ए ओ सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ समेशन ऑफ आर सो समेशन ऑफ आर इज नथिंग बट वन अपॉन एच आई ए आई प्लस एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाय आर वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू बाय के एल प्लस वन अपॉन एच ओ इन टू ए ओ इन टू हट इन टू ए ओ सो मल्टीप्लाय बाय ए ओ इन टू ईच टर्म मल्टीप्लाय बाय ए ओ इन टू दिस ईच टर्म सो यू ओ इज इक्वल टू सो ए ओ वी हैव टू टेक इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सो ए ओ बाय ए आई इन टू एच आई ए ओ बाय ए ओ इन टू एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाय आर वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू बाय के एल प्लस ए ओ इन ए ओ डिवाइडेड बाय एच ओ इन टू ए ओ सो इन फर्स्ट टर्म वट इज मीन बाय ए ओ ए ओ इज नथिंग बट टू बाय आर टू इन टू एल एल इज नथिंग बट लेंथ ऑफ दैट पाइप लेंथ ऑफ दैट पाइप सो टू पाय आर टू इन टू एल डिवाइडेड बाय टू पाय आर वन इन टू एल ए आई इज नथिंग बट टू पाय आर वन इन टू एल इन टू एच आई प्लस वट इज मीन बाय ए ओ ए ओ इज नथिंग बट टू पाय आर टू इन टू एल एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाय आर वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू पाय के एल प्लस दिस ए ओ एंड दिस ए ओ विल कैंसल सो वट इज रिमेनिंग वन अपॉन एच ओ वन अपॉन एच ओ सो सो फ्रॉम दिस टर्म टू पाय एल एंड टू पाय एल विल कैंसल सो वट इज रिमेनिंग आर टू बाय आर वन इंटू एच आई आर टू बाय आर वन इंटू एच आई प्लस इन दिस इक्वे इन दिस टर्म टू पाय एल टू पाय एल विल कैंसल टू पाय एल विल टू पाय एल विल कैंसल सो वट इज रिमेनिंग आर टू बाय के इज इक्वल आर टू बाय के इन टू एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाय आर वन एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाय आर वन प्लस इन दिस केस ए ओ एव विल कैंसल सो वट इज द रिमेनिंग टर्म दैट इज वन अपॉन एच ओ वन अपॉन एच ओ सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशन फॉर द आउटर सर्फेस सो दिस इज द कोइपिशन फॉर द हिट ट्रांसफर विच इज टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम द आउटर सर्फेस टू दी कोल्ड फ्लूड आउटर सर्फेस टू कोल्ड फ्लूड सो वट इज द हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दैट ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशन सो वट इज द इक्वेशन फॉर दैट यू ओ इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन आर टू बाय आर वन इंटू एच आई प्लस आर टू बाय के इंटू एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाय आर वन प्लस वन अपॉन एच ओ सो बाय यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशन फॉर आउटर सर्फेस ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशन फॉर आउटर सर्फेस फॉर द हीट एक्सचेंजर्स फॉर द हीट एक्सचेंजर्स नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइपिशन फॉर हीट एक्सचेंजर इन विच टू फ्लूड्स आर सेपरेटेड बाय ए प्लेन ऑयल नाउ वी हैव टू कंसिडर इन दी हीट एक्सचेंजर इन दिस हीट एक्सचेंजर वी हैव टू कंसिडर इन दी प्लेन ऑयल विच इज प्लेसड इन बिटवीन हॉट फ्लूड एंड कोल्ड फ्लूड इन दिस केस वी हैव टू कंसिडर इन दी प्लेन ऑयल विच इज प्लेसड इन बिटवीन हॉट फ्लूड एंड कोल्ड फ्लूड सो हाउ मेनी रेजिस्टेंसेस आर देयर देर आर थ्री रेजिस्टेंस बिकॉज दिस हॉट फ्लूड ट्रांसमिटिंग द heat towards the this surface this is the inside surface so there is a fluid so fluid is transferring the heat because of the motion of the molecule so there is a resistance in this area there is a resistance that resistance is nothing but resistance due to the convection resistance due to the convection next there is a one plain wall and having thickness is l so heat transfer is takes place from this surface to this surface because of the conduction heat transfer is takes place from this surface to this surface because of the conduction so because of the conduction there is a one resistance is producing and that resistance is nothing but resistance due to the 
conduction resistance due to the conduction then heat transfer is takes place from this surface to the cold fluid there is a cold fluid film so, film so heat transfer is takes place from this surface to the cold fluid so in this plane all construction there are three resistance first resistance because of the convection second resistance because of the conduction and third resistance because of the convection because of the convection so what is our general equation that is q is equal to temperature difference divided by summation of resistance temperature difference divided by summation of resistance so delta t divided by summation of r delta t divided by summation of r is equal to what is the general equation in the form of overall heat transfer coefficient that is u into a into delta t u into a into delta t so from this equation delta t delta t will cancel delta t delta t will cancel so what is the remaining equation u is equal to what u is equal to 1 upon a into summation of r u is equal to 1 upon a into summation of r so what is the value of summation of r for this plane wall so this resistance is because of the convection this resistance is because of the conduction and this resistance is because of the convection so how to find out resistance due to the conduction that is 1 upon h a 1 upon h a so this is the, we have to considering the this is the inside surface so we have to giving the suffix h i area is same for this convection resistance area is same for this conduction and area is same for this convection so summation of r is nothing but resistance due to the convection that resistance is nothing but 1 upon h i into a plus what is the resistance due to the conduction that resistance is nothing but l by k what is the resistance due to the conduction for the plane wall that is l by k into a l is nothing but thickness of this plane wall k is nothing but thermal conductivity of this plane wall area which is perpendicular to the direction of heat flow plus this resistance is nothing but convection resistance and how to find out this resistance that is 1 upon h into a but this heat transfer coefficient for the outer surface so we have to consider the 1 upon h o into a so this is the summation of resistance for this particular plane wall so it transfers takes place from the hot fluid to the cold fluid hot fluid to the cold fluid in that there are three resistances so this summation is nothing but summation of r so our aim is to find out the u u is nothing but overall heat transfer coefficient so u is equal to 1 upon a into summation of r so area is same for the each section that is convection conduction and convection so u is equal to 1 upon a into bracket summation of r is nothing but 1 upon h i into a plus l by k plus 1 upon h o into a so this is the equation so a and a will can multiply by a into the each term so a multiply by this term that is a a will cancel similarly in this term a will be cancel similarly in this term a will be cancel so what is the remaining term so u is equal to 1 upon h 1 upon 1 by h i plus l by k plus 1 upon h o l by k plus 1 upon h o so this is the overall heat transfer coefficient for the heat exchanger heat exchanger in which two fluids are separated by a plane wall this is the equation for the heat, the overall heat transfer coefficient for heat exchanger in which two fluids are separated by a plane wall so u is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon h i plus l by k plus 1 by h o by using this equation we have to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient for the heat exchanger in which two fluids are separated by a plane wall in which two fluids are separated by a plane wall so in today's lecture we have to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient for the inner surface overall heat transfer coefficient for the outer surface and overall heat transfer coefficient for heat exchanger in which two fluids are separated by a plane wall plane wall so thank you